So hi, uh, today I would like to speak to you about the process for a first time home buyer. I'm going to be brief because there's a lot to learn and there's a lot to know. Most importantly, you want to know where you want to live. And once you've figured that out, you're driving around, you feel at home, or you have family there, or it's close to your job, or it's near the transportation, or you like the schools, those are or you like the price that you can pay for something that uh, attracts you. These are important to figure out. As a real estate broker, I know the, the most important thing is that you are in communication with an agent that you, number one, can trust and who tells you like it is the real facts of the matter and is willing to offer you all the information which is at his or her fingertips and then you feel that you are completely informed that I feel is essential so more the next thing which I would say is the uh, an important factor is knowing how how you want to live do you how many bedrooms do you need how many bathrooms can you live with do you need a garage must you have a basement do you need a big yard or can you be happy with a small yard do you want it to be already upgraded or can are you handy and you're looking for something that you can put your own um, taste and personal touches to? And then of course, the most importantly really is the money. So knowing what your closing costs are, knowing how much money you have down, knowing what you want to pay per month. Now, in my opinion, that's what we, that's what we focus on. How much money can you afford every month that you're going to every month cut the check. So we will help you figure that out. You know, you'll come into our office. We'll sit down with all of our calculators and our little money books and figure it all out. How much money you have in the bank? Are you getting a gift from some family member? Are you uh, wanting to do three and a half percent down, which believe it or not is happening frequently? You know, some, some uh, buyers think, oh, I need 20% down. No, that is not true. Uh, if you have 5% down, then do you, do you need to buy a home which um, has, has more than you can afford? Then perhaps you should buy a townhome versus a single family. Oh, but I want only a single family. Then we need to figure out the, the best possible scenario for you. So that's enough for now. Uh, in this sequence, I will touch upon each of those topics. So thank you very much.